If you are in the market for an iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and you're looking for a case that not only will protect your device, but also allows you still to use MagSafe, I've got the video for you. These are the brand new Peak Design Everyday Cases. This is in Redwood. I also have it in Sunflower. We're gonna take a look at them today and give you kind of first impressions of opening the case, using it on the phone, and tell you whether I think it's worth the $50 or not, because 50 bucks is a lot of money. So let's get right on into it. We're gonna look at the Redwood case here first. Now, these cases were purchased. They were not sent to me by Peak Design. This is not sponsored. I wanted to check these cases out for myself because I have a new iPhone 15 Pro, just like many of you do. And I wanna see if these cases are worth it. I've never owned a Peak Design case. I do have a lot of their other products, which they are make good quality products. So I figure maybe uh, it will be a good fit. So this is in Redwood. I think this would look really nice with the white titanium and also the natural titanium. Uh, not a bad color if we look at it here. It's like a nice twill. The same thing that their backpacks are made out of. Uh, let's see here, I like the dark hardware. Now you see here they don't have a button. This is a cutout. Now I wonder really this is gonna be too thick for the button to be depressed. I, I think it might be. That's, that's something I would like to see. Uh, it's got the MagSafe ring on the inside. Now the thing that's cool about Peak Design products overall is that they're extensible. And I mean by that is that they have usually their own ecosystem of accessories that you can use with them. And you see here on the back of the case, the case is designed with what they call SlimLink. It's basically an integrated uh, connector that allows you to still use MagSafe with this and the other Peak Design accessories. And they make everything from a vent mount to a wallet, a tripod, they have a desk stand, they have bicycle mount. So they have a full ecosystem of accessories outside of MagSafe. Uh, that allows you to use that. Now for this review, I'm not talking about any of those accessories. We're really just looking at the cases themselves. Now I'm gonna put my phone in here. So looking at this, it's not bad with the blue. Uh, it does feel like it's got a nice grip to it, but here's that button. And that button is kind of recessed. You can see on the back here, there's a nice lip around the camera. Uh, that's plastic for sure. Yeah, so the volume rockers do not work at all. And you can see that I'm pushing the buttons See that? that? That's actually kind of weird. My screen protector is being lifted along the sides here. That could be the way that I put it on there, but that's not happening with other cases that I have. So I would tell you to be cautious. Maybe it's just this case. Let's let's check that out. I'm really concerned about the action button not being available. Uh, this looks different in pictures. It's not really a good looker in my opinion. It's like a mustard color. Yeah, so this button right here is easy to push. The volume button, see that how, how it does it at the top? It's almost like the volume button doesn't sit correctly on the inside. It's got a slight lip around the case. Okay, let's do a test with some MagSafe accessories to see the strength of the magnet. Here I have the Belkin Boost Charge. It's a dock and it's got a kickstand on it. It's got strong connection. It's pretty impressive. It does work on there. Let's take a look here. I have a wallet. Wow, that was, that was like thunk. It is pretty strong. Now, at the end of the day for $50, this case does not do it for me. There are just too many negatives, in my opinion, that really prohibit me from spending $50 on this case. So first and foremost, the action button is the biggest thing that I don't like. There's no button itself, it's a cutout, and I don't like that. It's really sunken in there. It makes it cumbersome to use. You actually have to dig your fingers in there quite deeply to get to the action button. So if you plan on using the action button or you wanna use the action button maybe more frequently, that's something I would be concerned about. Second thing is that these buttons do not seem to be seated correctly. That could just be the fact that this is like maybe like an early production unit. They might fix it with later production units. I will reach out to Peak Design again and see if I get a feedback from them. If I do, I will pin it down in the first comment below. And three, the fact that it lifts my screen protector. Now, if those three things don't bother you, this is a nice case. It's very well made. The rubber construction around the side, the drop protection of six feet, the ecosystem of accessories. Again, you have a MagSafe charger, you have a, a bicycle mount, you have a car vent mount, and you have some photography accessories. There are a lot of things going for it, but for me personally, it is not worth my money. But let me know what you think. Are you going to purchase this Peak Design Everyday Case for $50? Is it worth your money? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you are interested in more kind of case reviews, accessory reviews for the iPhone, as well as how to be more productive with these devices, make sure you're subscribed because I've got more content coming your way. My name is Mike and I will talk to you guys in the next one.